Nathan, what are you doing here? Can I come in? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Can I get you a coffee or something? No, I'm... I'm good. What's going on? Well, I don't know how to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I got into a case. It started getting to me, and... The next thing I knew, it turned into a class action. Nathan, you don't have the resources to take on a class action. That didn't stop you from taking on those miners last year? No, it didn't, but I, I ended up needing to go to Pearson Spectre for help. Why do you think I'm here now? You want me to ask my firm to help you? I want your firm to make an investment in the clinic. Nathan, that's never gonna happen. Well, I need some kind of help. Because there are a bunch of children who are never gonna live normal lives. And if I don't think of something, I'm gonna have to choose between them and keeping the clinic in business. Wait, 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 what, what do you mean they're never gonna have normal lives? There's a school in upstate New York. About 10 years ago, Discharge Power started making batteries a thousand yards away. Those kids started getting lead poisoning. And they say it's not from the plant, but it is. All right, I have an idea. But it's not giving you money and it's not giving you our associates. Hey, Mike, what are you doing here? I just came to tell the king of class action here that I'm in. You got me for as long as you need me. Mike, that's great, Th thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, can you tell him you brought this jerk off onto our case? Hey, excuse me, Mr. Jerk Off, please. Oh yeah, how about Johnny Dickface? How about Jonathan Dickface? <laughs> yeah, are you two finished? Because we actually have a case to prepare for. And they just filed a motion to dismiss based on insufficient class certification. What? I filled out that paperwork myself and you filed it yesterday. No, you filed it because you said you were gonna take care of it yourself. And then you said you were going down to the court. Shit. I got caught up. God damn it, Nathan, this ruins three months worth of work. You think I don't know that? I don't care whether you know it or not, it was all your right, idea. All right, that's enough. Guys, pointing fingers isn't gonna get us anywhere. Mike's right. The question is, what are we gonna do? You're gonna do what you do when the law isn't on your side. We're gonna tell the truth and hope to hell the judge sees it our way. Hey. Hey. You wanna go out and grab a bite to eat? No, I can't. I gotta prepare for this settlement meeting in the morning. For the class action, Mike, that's great. Nothing about this case is great. Look at these kids, Rachel. It's just one after another. Oh, she's just a baby. She's three. And I already know she's got cognitive damage from the lead. This is heartbreaking. So unfair. The worst part is, even if we win, money's not gonna cure her or any of these other kids. Well, you are helping them the best way that you can. Am I? Hey. What's going on? I got a job offer today. Okay. What does that have to do with any of this? The guy who offered it to me is opening up a practice dedicated to doing this kind of work. It's like a clinic, but with big firm money. Mm. And he wants us to run it. Us? He, he asked for us to do it? Yeah. What if I told you I'd consider it? That's... No, it's not the point. It's, it's in Seattle. He wants an answer in two days. We can't do it. It just got to me, that's all. Then go in there tomorrow and use whatever this did to you to get those families the most that you possibly can. Because, Mike, we're going to have children someday. And I don't want them to live in a world where things like this happen. Mr. Collins, we appreciate the punctuality. What are all these people doing here? This is supposed to be a settlement meeting. Well, we thought before we heard your offer, show you what you're up against. And you don't think Discharge Power can afford an army of its own? I'm sure they can. But unlike yours, every one of my people is prepared to shed blood for this case. Then maybe this will keep them from shedding anything at all. What the hell are you doing? This is less than 60000 per family. Which is a hell of a lot of money for lead poisoning we knew nothing about. Bullshit, your people knew what was going on here. And you have no proof of that. 
This is a list of children pulled from the school within the first six months of the plant opening. You want to take a guess what they have in common? Their parents are all executives at Discharge Power. So don't try and tell us that no one knew. Where did you get that? Is that how you're going to counter in front of a jury? A hundred thousand a family. That's the best you're going to do. No, it isn't. Mike. No. These are children. We have the resources and this isn't going to go down like this. So why don't you go back to your masters and tell them that unless they want to be exposed to the world, they're going to need to add some more zeros. We're never going to do that. You can and you will. Now get out of my face. My office now. God damn it. What the hell did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? It was a good cop, bad cop. That was the plan. But the plan was to close in the room, not blow the whole thing up for some number they're never gonna go for. Nathan, they'll come back. What the hell is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Those kids are gonna be fucked up for the rest of their lives and you seem to care more about closing in the room than getting them the best deal. Did you not hear me when I first came to you? I needed money because if this goes to trial, we are out of business. Nathan, it's not gonna go to trial. And the only thing that's gonna stop this guy from tripling that offer is if you don't have the balls to wait it out. Nathan, look, I know you got into this because you care about these people and you're a good man for doing it, but you need to trust me. I know what I'm doing. All I'm asking is that you just wait one day. Okay, Mike. One day.